Hello and welcome to Ula Tealeaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Aries. If Aries is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we have the Princess of Cups, Aries. So we have a very um, yeah, emotional. <laughs> it feels very emotional, especially the princess, because if you could imagine like a 13-year-old girl, right, and the emotions that come with that. Now, not always negative, right? I don't know that anybody can love like a adolescent girl. I don't know about you, but when I was in my teens, um, and I do consider myself a romantic, I mean, to this day, you know, um, but those deep feelings, those um, just I mean, like an ocean, the waves, the tsunamis, the, oh, you know, um, overwhelming um, fits of love. <laughs> yeah. And so whenever I see the Princess of Cups, I say, okay, all right. So we got some real emotions kicking around here. All right. Okay. Let's see. What are the tea leaves going to say? How are these going to relate with one another? And I really, I need to figure out if this is going to still be too dark. I just don't want it to be too bright either. Okay. So, uh, let's see. What are these guys going to tell us? And if you have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. Also, if you want to hit the like button or leave a comment, I would love to hear from you. So, we have the fool right up here you can see uh even with the little stick and the bundle on the back we have the dog trying to grab its foot everything is there we got the fool um so i feel like this is i almost feel because we have the crab right there okay we have the crab and we have a person who looks like they're kind of Arms are throwing up. They might be kind of wailing and and crying. Uh, we have a person over here who looks like they're maybe like blowing a horn or maybe drinking something. Um, and so for me, it's almost kind of like I feel like you're in a place where you're trying really hard not to care so much. You are like working so hard not to like, you know, I'm not going to say flip out, but not be triggered or have your buttons pushed. You have somebody in your life here who it's like they just absolutely get off on messing with you, right? Making you upset. I almost wonder if this is kind of a manipulation tactic or like a control thing, right? Like you have like maybe a spouse or a child or a, you know, a family member or whatever. And it's like every time you show that you're having like a decent day, things are going pretty well. It's like it's their job, their purpose in life to find some way to really, really harsh the vibe, right? Like come in there with the bad news and we all have those people in our lives. The only time we hear from them is when they have bad news, right? And, you know, I think for you, it's like you really, you're so burnt on it. You're so burnt out on it. And there's this feeling of like, I just want to like stop caring so much. I want to stop being affected by at least this person, but, but other exterior things, right? And so I see you really leaning into that full energy. And 
the fool is not, it's not like, oh, they're a fool because they're um, unintelligent or they are unsophisticated. No, this is a person who has abandoned inhibition. This is a person who is tired of living by social mores, of um, abiding rules that don't even make sense. Uh, you know, immediately the thing that I thought of is like, you know, um, and I love that our society, I hope anyways, more and more is coming to the around to this, but things like gendered colors, right? And listen, I'm not going to get into the whole background of things and, and I don't, I don't care what anybody else does, but I want to tell you, I do not like the fact. I mean, you know, I've had kids, um, I have a four-year-old daughter. I've had kids tell my daughter, she, you know, you, oh, you can't wear that shirt because it has dinosaurs. That's for boys, you know, and it's like, come on, you know, <laughs> obviously you're learning that from somewhere. Um, but yeah, I, it's the rules that don't make sense. They don't make sense, at least not anymore. You know, and so um, I feel like it's kind of like you're just at this point in your life where, yeah, you're going to do things the way you want to do them. And you really, really are uh, invested in the self evolution, in the development of self to get to that point where nobody's going to come in and destroy your mood. Or, you know, like kind of basically hold you hostage, right? Because of their temper, their moods, their, you know, um, depression or angst or whatever it is. Okay. So I see you really like, yeah, unmoving on this. You are setting boundaries. Okay. You are um, letting it be known. This isn't going to be like this anymore. I'm living my life. I'm not wasting the hours of my precious days. Which you're not going to get back, right? Not wasting them. Worrying and crying and fighting and, and you know, walking on eggshells and all these kinds of things. Not anymore. So it's the beginning of freedom, right? Loosening those restraints. Some of them imposed by others. Some of them by your own choice. And that's the hard thing to admit to ourselves. More often than not, we're the ones, you know, imprisoning ourselves the most, right? And so, uh, I do. I feel like this is a time where there's a lot of change for you in this way. Will it be swift? No. It's going to take some time. But it will happen. It will happen. Now, we have the crab. So I'm wondering if the person is a cancer that you're dealing with. Which, if you get a cancer on one and they are just like in that funk or they're in that meanness or they're... You know, their anger, ooh, stay away. Cancers can be volatile. Not all the time, right? For the most part, they put up with a lot. They, you know, they internalize a lot, whatever. Uh, at times, though, it just, it gets, you know, they can get real really angry <laughs> really angry I should know I'm married to one <laughs> which listen he's not the super angry person but I've seen him angry a couple of times and my goodness I said okay love ya let me know when you're feeling better <laughs> give me a text me when you're feeling better baby <laughs> you know um so we also have the number seven up here we have the number seven And we have fish, fish, fish. Okay, so there is, and we have, ooh, the Ace of Cups as well. Okay, so 
We have money. Money's on the mind. And I feel like by year's end, because we have a dragon here, a dragon here, we're in the year of the dragon. We also have the letters J, J right here. J, J. Uh, we have a butterfly. So I feel like by the year's end, there's going to be, and I'm going to use, oh my gosh, this set me up so well. There's a bird sitting in a nest up here. So by the end of the year, I feel like something is going to kind of change for you, maybe within your work life, maybe um, you come into some money, maybe, um, I don't know, you win some, like so, you win the lottery, I don't know. But there's going to be like a little nest egg for you, okay? Um, and I think that this is something that you have been praying for, that you've been working hard towards, um, and this is going to be the year where that money is going to show up for you. Now, it's not just money to like pay down debts and like do the bill. This is more money and it's money that I see you putting away, right? Maybe investing it, but most likely putting it away so that you can use it when you need it, right? Like a nest, what a nest egg is, um, and this, I think, is going to be like the big success of your year. And I think at this point, and we're already almost in November. Uh, at this point, you're probably saying, I don't even know how, Lenore. You know, the holidays are coming. We're at the end of the year. You're absolutely out of your mind here. You know, but I do. I see this being something that's quite surprising, but it will happen. Okay. Now, we also have the number four. So we had the number seven before. Now we have the number four. We have somebody that you like to talk. To. I was going to say gossip with, but I think, I mean, it is gossip. But I see two people very close kind of whispering. We also have two birds together face to face. So the birds are messengers. So yes, I see this as kind of like sharing information. Um, we also have a heart. And I almost kind of feel like a little bit of betrayal here. Kind of almost like something you told somebody in confidence. Um, they went and told other people. And I, I feel like, you know, it's not the end of the world, but I feel like you and your mind are like, okay, never again with you. Like they've broken your trust. But I don't think that this is somebody that you're super close to. I almost feel like this is more of like an acquaintance or, you know, somebody that, um, somebody that, you know, like in passing, right? Like, well, and I, the only thing I can think of, because in my life, the only time I talk to people in real life, like other human beings, <laughs> Besides my kid and my husband, um, shout out to my husband over at Dove and Serpent Tarot, my husband Paul. Um, go check him out if you've never watched his tarot readings. He's amazing. Um, but, you know, like at my daughter's functions and her classes and whatever, the only other people I talk to are other moms, other parents, really, and the teachers. So I almost wonder if it's like somebody at work or maybe somebody in passing in like this kind of situation where um, you're not super involved in each other's personal lives, but you do kind of, you know, talk. And, um, and it seems like, yeah, maybe they, they said something that you had shared in private and um, yeah, maybe you're feeling some type of way about that, which makes sense, you know. Um, but is it the end of the world? Not really, but do you feel a little anxiety about this maybe? Yeah, you know, but you're, you're not gonna forget, 
right? You know, you've like, you've checked the little thing next to their name in your head. <laughs> so uh, let's see, we're going to do, yeah, we're going to do our lucky numbers. And I'm just going to go ahead and do three lucky numbers today. Okay, so we have number nine, number nine. Number 66, 66, 9, 66, and 34, 34. Okay, and I know I just keep, I, I have not used my oracle cards today at all in any of my readings, um, the Radiant Sun ones, but we're gonna do our inner child ones. And I keep thinking, oh, just pick one. Okay, so we'll do the inner child ones first, okay? And uh, these usually just like punctuate the end of the reading. Okay. Oh, number 34. There we go. Spend time in nature. Let the beauty of nature refresh your soul. Let the beauty of nature refresh your soul. All right. Okay, so we're going to do one card. <laughs> um, I want to see kind of like what is the vibe for the next few days for Aries. Okay, what is it going to be? And I promise I'm only doing one. Okay, we'll do more than one. <laughs> Ostentation. So kind of showiness, right? Which makes sense. Listen, we're going, we're coming up on Halloween. So how do we, I, every year I mix this up. I'm not good at saying it. I don't even know how to say it. I'm just going to tell you. Last year, I remember quite a few people told me how to say it in the comments and I forgot to look it up again because I don't remember, but it, I, I think it's Sam Hain. I, I think. So if you know how to say it, Spell it out in the pronunciation way um, in the comments so I can re try to remember for a few weeks anyways. Um, we have that coming up. We have Day of the Dead. We have All Saints Day. Um, you know, a lot of things. A lot of reasons to get real um, dressy. So if you know or if you are participating in any of these holidays and dressing up, if you know what you're going to be, let me know. I want to see. Are you going to be something very showy? Or are you going to be um, something kind of understated or scary or what? Um, I am going to be my cat TT. If you've been around for any amount, I mean, let's see. When did she stop being in the videos? Maybe around March or April. Um, the cat, my two cats used to be in all the readings. Uh, but I have a, she's a hairless cat and I found a costume that looks like hers. <laughs> it's like a onesie. And I was like, all right, I guess I'm going to be the cat this year. Um, so that's mine. What are you going to be? <laughs> all right. I love you. Take care of yourself. If you want to like, uh, subscribe or leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. You're the best. We'll talk soon. Good night. Good night. Good night.